What you see on your screen right now, this is an Xbox and this is a Google Mini. Hi, welcome to our channel all about home electronics where in this video we're going to show you how to connect Xbox to your Google Mini so that you can control your Xbox with Google Assistant and we'll get started right after this. Before we start, we want to let you know that we timestamped each of the following steps. You can locate it in the description below the video. And as well, later in the video, we're going to go over some of the commands that you can use in Google Assistant to help you control your Xbox. You want to make sure that the power setting for your Xbox has been set to standby. You can locate this under the General tab within Settings, and then locate Sleep Mode and Startup. And if it's been set to Energy Saver, you'll need to switch it to Standby. Now let's get started. You'll want to navigate to the Settings button within your Xbox console, and then select it by pressing the A button on your controller. Scroll down to Devices and Connections, and then over to the right and down again to Digital Assistance. We need to enable this feature in your Xbox, and we do this by placing a check mark in that box. Now that we've enabled the feature inside of the Xbox, we need to go ahead and connect your Google Assistant application on your smart device to your Xbox so you can control it. Now we've shown you in the video that we're using a Google Mini. You don't really require a Google Mini. You can control your Xbox simply with the Google Assistant app built into your smart device. We're using a Google Mini purely for demonstration purposes. To make things easier, you'll want to make sure that the smart device that hosts the Google Assistant app is logged into the same Wi-Fi network as your Xbox that you want to control. And to help make this process go as smoothly as possible, on your smart device, make sure Bluetooth is turned on, location services is turned on, and that your Google Assistant app has permission to use your device's microphone. Now we link Xbox in our Google Home Assistant app by pressing the plus sign and then selecting set up a device and a device that works with Google. We recommend you search for the Xbox because the list of available devices is very long. And once you reach this Microsoft login screen, simply put in your Microsoft account login credentials to link the two. Now you'll know you've successfully linked Xbox with your Google Home Assistant app because it'll show as a linked device in the app itself. Now we went ahead and disconnected power to the Google Mini because we're going to go over some of the commands that you can use with Xbox through your Google Home Assistant or the Mini. You can have Google start a certain game name for you. You can have Google turn the Xbox on or turn it off. You can have it pause or resume. You can have it turn the volume up or down, and by a certain amount, like the number 7. You can have Google launch YouTube on Xbox. You can have Google mute it, record, or even take a screenshot. Hey Google, turn off Xbox. Alright, turning Xbox off. If the Google Super Thanks button happens to appear below this video and you'd like to give us a tip, we can use that to buy extra gear and bring you more videos just like this. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you like this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.